Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number 44, aka the section of the show where you two make me feel bad that I've not caught up because it's suddenly very good towards the end. Uh, yep. but... So here's my, my take always on Venditti has been he'll do these arcs and then he'll lose me and then he'll pull me right back in. And I feel like a lot of writers nowadays, they don't know how to end a story. I feel like that's all Venditti knows how to do because I remember the ends of his stories so well because they're so impactful. And here, I feel he's ending his entire run. It's this is you know. So I I I, I was on my own last issue. I you know. So I, yep. I ended with the 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 four Earthmen going off to find yep. help in different places. And one That's of them seem, issue is. And is, one of them seemed to be Zod, which was my like, oh god, that sounds good. Why, uh, yeah, hmm. yeah, we'll get to that. And yep. um, th- this issue is basically just them going to okay, who's where, and you know who have they gone to essentially. Yep. So uh, we we start with with Hal on earth uh-huh. well i mean we have a little flash first on it's still on earth um in, in iron heights of uh T- oh, the... Ray yeah so it is the dark star so he comes down he's at iron heights and goldface is in there and we all know that goldface is responsible for the death of his father tomar uh ray because tomar too right yeah. yes yes yeah so uh although man those the Zudarians need to come up with a better naming thing. I know, I'm just two, Ray. It's like, which one's which? You, yeah, you know, they're, right. all, they're, they're so interchangeable, aren't they? And he fully incinerates Goldface. Like, without... He is Judge Dredd. He's Judge, Jury, and Executioner. And yeah. and takes him completely out. And so then Hal's there, and he's investigating. Uh, Barry shows up, which is cool, because, of course, then Iron Heights. Yep. Uh, and, and he fills him kind of in what's going on with the Dark Stars, and the... And I had forgot how Goldface had killed uh, Tomar Ray, and it was during Crisis. Yes. And, uh, Goldface had a bit of a heel turn when he was supposed to be a good guy and attacked Tomar Ray. Uh, Just uh, choked him out. Yeah, and so that was a, that was a nice little reminder. But he has a talk with... With what? Barry, yeah, because we, we move on to the, the, the moral quandary which we were dealing with uh, over the last mm-hmm. few issues is the Dark Stars kill people. And you know, yep. is is that for the better? Like you and uh, you know, we, we had even we had John Stewart kind of address this a couple of issues yep. ago of you know maybe, and this is Hal basically saying, hey, I, I've considered this at the time. What sort of hero does that make me? Yeah. Well, and then it also reminds me of the time that Barry snapped Reverse yeah. Flash's neck for yeah. all of his Which, crimes. Obviously, we we don't get referenced here, but no, but, you know, Bar- but... Barry is like, hey, ultimately, you're a cop. And obviously yeah. Barry can relate to that being in in, yep. in, in the, that field himself. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you know, every, every cop thinks about it at some point that th- this would be easier. You know, there, there'd be no, it, no more villains escaping. You know, it would just right. save so much time, so many lives if we could just put them down. But ultimately we don't. There's a process. But right. it's okay to consider it. But yeah, but you, you think about that because of the job that you have. Yeah. But what makes you able to ride that line is the fact that you know what's wrong and what's right. Yeah. And that's why you wear that ring, basically. And so it was really nice. I like any time that we can have Hal and Barry interact and it doesn't feel forced. This all felt very right because yeah. of the gold face time. It does. I mean, in the heights. But we get to, to Guy and he's going to get his friend. Uh, yeah. You know? well, I mean, it's worth We don't actually know because Hal doesn't seem to be there to recruit. Barry no. for the help. He he just oh gold you know he he heard about Gold Star yeah. and happened to check in, so yeah. I'm not entirely sure who he is there to recruit still. Yeah. Uh, unless you know, but uh, you any yeah. guesses? Oh yeah, yeah yeah definitely he's. Hold on, let me see if it was. No, he they they reveal it because he's there. Is, at is the that end. the end? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're at the end. The end. I'm, I'm thinking at the start of this bit. Yeah, so you're I, right. I, I won't I won't spoil it yet, but. As soon as I saw a guy in a bar, I knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, I knew exactly yeah. who he was going to go get. And so he goes to this bar where apparently he's supposed to be banned. But he's yeah. like, well, if you want to ban me, go ahead and throw me out. Yeah, he goes, and, He goes. you know, last time you and your big friend fought the whole bar. Yeah. I was like, oh, I know where this <laughs> is going. I love it so much. And Arkelo's there. Yeah. yeah. And he shows up and they have a beer together. And he explains yeah, what's I love they, they have a monthly meet up to have a beer mm-hmm. together. Like yeah. you, even even though the the, the two cores are you know they're, they're at odds again, the two yeah, of them still meet up aren't. and have a beer. If, if you had told me two years ago that Arkillo would have been one of my favorite supporting characters, I'd been like the dude with no tongue. That's all like Sinestro is. 
Uh, no, I know. but through Venditti's run, it's made him really fun. It has. And His pairing with Guy has been fantastic. It's it's perfect. Uh, but yeah, but so he tells him about the Dark Stars and that he's gonna need his help going forward. You know, yeah, and they and need I, somebody I, I, through. I assume Akilo's gonna kind of go and try and bring some of the rest of the Yellows with him yep. as well. Mm-hmm. Just you know, because the Dark Stars are gonna be on their turf too. Like, yeah, they might have a little bit more in common with with the Dark Stars, but they're still more about fear and power that way. Like. I always feel like if Sinestro doesn't have to kill, he won't. You know, because that he, Sinestro has always been like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones to me, to where he'll he rather have other people do the dirty work for him, and if that's somebody that he could you know trade their life for a favor, yeah, and he'll he rather he'll, he'll do that. step in if he has to, but yeah, he'll he'd rather do the political maneuvering. Exactly, and so I feel like the Dark Stars are going to get in on that, and that's where the Yellows are going to be motivated to. Hey, you guys are on our turf. Cut it out. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and uh, so then, of course, we, we jump over to Kyle, who mm-hmm. meets up with our old friend Space Cabby. I love is, that that's a thing. I love yeah, it. Yeah, again, that, uh, to, you know, bringing stuff back from earlier in the run. We had yep. a whole thing with Space Cabby a, a bit ago, which was fun. Yep. And so he's, so uh, he's, he's weaving this. Yeah. Well, he's, he has like a quilt and he's putting it together finally. And all the pieces are coming into place. And I was like, oh, you remember I brought in Space Cabby and. Oh, you remember that split between the greens and yellows? Here, yeah. this is all going the, forward and be important. The, the Kyle one is ultimately the least interesting, I think, because it's the one yeah. that's the least exciting part of the run. Yeah. Because ultimately, you know, Space Cabby's had an upgrade with his cab, and it's got a it's got a mother box integrated now. Yeah. So he jumps over to, to to see the new gods and get Orion. You know, based on that 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 stuff that arc we had that with arc. them before. Well, it's like, yo, we saved your life, you owe us. So yeah. It makes sense in context of the run, but that was one of the least exciting points. So it's like, Definitely. okay, fine. I, I, I guess and, you've got to do it. And we all know how I felt about the last odd arc. Like, I was kind of out by the time it was. It was a little bit too long. And I love Guy and Archelo. So if you have told me my favorite part involves Zod and not Guy, I would have been like, yeah. no. You've got John goes going up there. Yeah. And just... So here's my thing. I understand that John was, you know, dispatch, and he was trying to control things with the Guardians. But if he's your number one diplomat, why didn't you send him to Jakul to begin with? Yeah, I mean, he's he's trying to delegate, I guess, good leader. I guess, but it caused more problems than him just going there. Because he gets so much more done here until Zod decides to become Zod and act out. Yeah, He's talking with the, the, the family of Zod, or the house of Zod, and they're they're just throwing shade at him, like at, at uh, least he's trying. Yeah, and so he goes, you know, Zod's like, no, I'll listen to you talk, but you miscalculated, and he goes to attack him, and <laughs> and uh, uh, Joe, what was it? Uh, 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 code name fist executive, pump. Yeah, executive package code name fist pump. Guide me in, and it looks like he's got this basically brass knuckle set made out of green energy, and. He, as Zod's coming in to punch him, he counter punches and, and, and breaks, breaks Zod's, hand. Zod's hand. And he's like, there's no way how we did that. It's just a Green Lantern. And you come to find out, like, oh, no, that was no construct. He borrowed some kryptonite. He knew yeah. what he was up to. Yeah, it was so, in a, it was a, in, in the evidence vault on, on Mogo, yeah. which I Are buy. you listening now, General? Uh, just a question. Yeah. Where Zod is just now, is there a yellow sun? Yes. The two okay. yellow suns. Two. Two. Okay, even fair worse. <laughs> yeah. He's, so, twi- he's twice the Superman. <laughs> and well, and that's what he tells him. He goes, you know, I'm powered by the two yellow suns. I can't. You're foolish to come here by yourself. And that's where he goes. Okay. And I got. And then he goes, code name fist bump. And it the ring guides him no, in. No, I was just asking because if if it wasn't, yeah. then it, this wasn't that impressive. <laughs> no, no. It, this yeah. is you know he's he's at peak power. You've got him yeah. there in his royal chambers, like it's actually like a throne room. And he's he's yeah. on his thing. You got Eradicator kind of just floating in the background still. That they're, they're all there, you know, just waiting. They, they, this is this is essentially New Krypton as far as Zod's concerned. Yeah, a bunch of posers. Never be Krypton. But and then then we jump back to to uh, Hal. Yeah. And he's on he's on Earth and he's at Strikers in Metropolis and he's there for Hector Hammond, which goes back to when well, I think one of the first arcs, right, with the, the little Gremlin characters. Yeah, with Hammond, yeah. and they they tried to do all that, and I don't think he ever finished that arc. But I mean, that's okay. 
Because I understand Hector Hammond as a character, and he's got the big head, and he's psychic. We saw him in No Justice. Hey, hey, that, that's the thing. Because he's such a, a staple of the, of the mythos anyway, you don't need to have seen anything that he's done in particular. No. Whereas uh, Arkelo, sure, you, you know he is, but it's all about the relationship mm-hmm. with Guy. The, the Zod yep. stuff, you might be familiar with Zod, but again, it's about yeah. the, what's gone on in the run. Mm-hmm. And even, even with the, the new gods, that's how it goes with the run. Yeah. So here, yeah. it's a little less so, but you get like, oh, if he's going to release Hector Hammond... It's you Think know, things are bad. Uh, stuff. Yeah, he he doesn't quite uh, get there in time. I mean, he he cuts no. the cords to Hammond that are you know holding him down, mm-hmm. but uh, then he gets a, a blast in the back, and who should step in but Atomic Skull? Yeah, is, you know. Yeah, I'm the word uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Basically, that's it. You're under arrest. That's the cliffhanger for the issue. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yeah. this is this is a, a pretty great issue with the way that it, it kind yes, of it is, is a greatest hits of of the run. I, but it, it feels like it's really building up for the end. Uh, I'm going to take the, the moment right now and all the complaining to Connor for getting me back in. It's I, I thank him for it now because this is oh, God, no, don't, so much fun. Don't, yeah. don't wax his ego. I give credit oh. with credits too. Yeah. It's, it, like I said, it's, it's had its up and downs, but when this yeah, book Connor lands, stuck with it, it lands I, so good. Yeah, I've quit for arcs and listen and go, oh man, that would be kind of cool. And then I go back and read them. So, you know... Uh, but this has made it all worth it. I like yeah. that he's bringing it all together, and it feels like whatever happens after this will be a new era. Kind of how yeah. Venditti's was a new era from John. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. This has not never reached the heights of that previous run. No. But I, I think at the end now, it's, it's safe to say, uh, you know, Venditti's left his mark, and yeah. you know, the, these greatest hits, they're, they're all varied stories that he's done. And, you know, it's like, okay, there's, there's been some genuine, real great stuff in this run. Mm-hmm.